Hmm. Isn't she always like that? To be honest, I thought for sure she was gonna shoot down your idea to bring the girl along. Why? She's just so single-minded. I bet she'd kick a puppy if it got in the way of her mission. Come on. Mila isn't that cold-blooded. I wonder. Speaking of her mission, I hear you two had a rough time at that lab in Fenmont. Did Mila tell you about it? Well, she must have swiped something big from there, huh, kid? Some juicy national secret that got the army all riled up? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Don't play coy, kid. I'll find out eventually. Why not just tell me now? It'll be our little secret. I'm sorry. I really don't know. Well, I guess she really doesn't trust us. No, that's not true. Wait here. I'll go ask her. No, no. If you really don't know about it, then forget I asked. I mean that. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. But... I doubt she'll take kindly to me poking my nose in her business. So don't tell her I asked, okay? All right. Got it. <laughs> We better get our stuff. You're right. Looks like we're almost there. I wonder how tight Rashigal security is right now. Mila! Mila's our pal! Oh. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along, at least. Don't worry. Everything will work out. Looks like security is not so tight after all. Soldiers are still patrolling, though. We'll have to be careful. Strange. What changed? They were deploying soldiers across the border to find us before. Maybe they found something more important to do than chase after us. I'm not complaining. Let's avoid the soldiers and head to Fenmont. Hang in there, Elise. It'll just be a little while longer till we reach the city. Then I'm sure we'll find the perfect person to take you in. What? But I... Take us in? What the hey are you talking about? That could have gone better. He just told the little lady he's unloading her on a perfect stranger. That's news to her. No wonder she looks surprised. And he thinks I'm inconsiderate. He's just a kid. Hmm? Nothing. Trust me. The beds are way softer at the inn here than anywhere else. You focus on the strangest things. All right. I'm checking in. Can we really afford to relax like this? Be careful, Elise. A sailor in the Sea Haven has been staring at you. Oh, I didn't notice anything. We might just be overthinking things, but he might know something. Maybe we should chat him up. supposed to be Jude and I? Well, this is lucky. If that's what they're looking for, there's no way they'll ever catch us. These are awful. Oh, I'm sure this can't be fun at your age. Kids can be so self-conscious. No, I don't care about me, but Mila looks terrible. He's right. This is quite unfortunate. The whole reason I assumed this form is because its appearance is effective against men. 
half the human population. But if I'm as ugly as I appear in that poster, I need to fundamentally reevaluate my strategy. Well, wow, that is diabolical. I had no idea. Jude, be honest with me. Am I attractive from a male perspective? Uh, well, you're beautiful, in my opinion. And sexy. Ellie says she wants to look just like you. Tipo! You have nothing to worry about, Mila. So, what would you say are her finest features? Oh, maybe how good she smells, or those amazing curves. Yes, I see. Thank you for your invaluable opinion. My, my. Our little Jude is becoming a man. I was just speaking objectively. So what's keeping this Tipo thing floating in the air like that? Who knows? Sheer talent, I guess. Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm. Does this sort of thing actually work? You tore it down? Yes, but I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, 